Here's something that might not be a big problem, but it could be a big problem. And of course, this is the it's the location of this strap here. Uh, most of the time when a, an engineer wants a strap placed um, in an area like this to connect two walls together, um, they need they they want it to tie into one of the plates, and most of the time it's going to be the top plate. And again, I can see where a lot of this stuff makes sense. You know, you're thinking, hey, what the heck? I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in. You know, I mean, let, there are a couple things that run through my mind here. Um, someone just says, hey, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna center the strap on the plate here, which is what most framers do anyway. Is they go ahead and they center a strap like this. Um, they're used to doing this. They'll center the strap between this area, this point, and this point. Um, and that's, I think, what, what they did here. I'm sure the carpenter just started on this side and said, ah, what the heck, I'm going to go ahead and put the strap on. And they went ahead and almost centered it in this area here. And then again, this, that's just one option. Another option is maybe they thought, hey, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and tie it into this, into the two plates, which would be better. And by all rights, they probably, it probably would be as long as, as long as you could drive the nails here at an angle, you would need to drive them into an angle down into the plate. And of course, the angle on these would need to shift in the opposite direction. If you just went ahead and nailed, put a nail in straight here, you just drive it in straight, there's a good chance you're going to split this area because it's closer to the top. It's kind of weaker um, the closer we get to the edge of anything. Um, so if, if this was me, I, I think I would have went ahead and raised the strap up and then nailed it into the top plate, um, which again, like I was saying, this is probably, and I want to say probably because uh, I'm not a structural engineer, you know, uh, I would have raised it up and then got a nice solid tie from the top plate of this wall to the top plate of this wall. And if I really was worried about it, hey, I don't think I got enough, then I would have just added another strap underneath here and then of course nailed it into this area here or ran it at an angle, something like that. Um, and again, I'd like to point out one more thing. Ha looking at this as a structural shear wall, I'm guessing that this strap uh, could be the wrong size anyway. Most of the projects I worked on required a large um, MST48, which is a four foot long strap for any brakes um, that uh, didn't have a four foot lap in them. So that, that's another thing that uh, could be a problem here also. So just to reiterate everything, go over it. Um, this strap right here could be perfectly fine. Um, I don't know if the engineer would recommend this. My personal preference. And again, if you if there are contractors out there or people who work in the construction industry, even structural engineers, I would love to hear from you guys and gals um, and get your opinion on this also. Should the strap have been raised or is it perfectly fine where it's at?